Welcome back to the Decide of Havoc here, and we are back on a little more Forever Stranded Lost Souls. And when we left off last episode, we had just put up our windmill, and I was in the process of making the sails. And you can see I've got them all in now, and we just got the achievement for that. Well, not just got, but we now have the achievement for that. And so we can come over here and claim that loot chest up quite nice like that and see what we get. And we get a watering can basic. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if we've got a watering can yet, but I don't see it being all that useful in the nether. So, I mean, I guess I could still plant crops on the nether, but... Oh, yeah, look at We already had one, so... Not all that useful, but... Um, I want to kind of pick up right where we left off and just get going on it and it was the tinkering stuff that we were doing So I looked a little bit into the seared furnace and the seared tank and or the tinker tank the tinker tank is kind of cool um, like It's just a it's a large place to store fluids um, Where they won't alloy so I can pump into here and then if I need them to alloy I can pump them back in or whatever Kind of cool, but not really all that necessary um, and then the seared furnace, it's actually probably going to be just as useful, if not less useful than my actual diamond furnace here. So I'm just going to kind of grind through these really quick and get them done. And, uh, then we'll kind of go ahead and move on. Cause like I, said, I looked into it, I, I didn't really see a big use for them. And so with that being said, I'm just not going to bother too much with it, but I do want to get into some of the other stuff cause I was reading about some of the automation potentials. And so that's something to look into. So there's 16 of those. That gives me 32. That bumps up two of the achievements here. So that one gets that one done. Okay, cool. So we can claim that loot chest. And then this one, I now need to make some seared glass and a tinker tank controller. So the tinker tank controller is made with a bucket and some seared brick. Ooh, I don't want to waste a bucket on this, but I guess I can always make another one. Just... Makes me sad to kind of give up a bucket. Let me let me go dump this real quick uh, back in here. There we go. And we'll go craft that up. And then I'm sure I'm going to probably need some glass. I'm assuming that's probably what the other part is that I'm going to need. And uh, seared tank. Seared tank. Not seared gauge. Was it seared gauge or seared tank? Hold on. I'm thinking seared glass. Seared glass. There it is right there. And that's just one. Oh, is it have to be? Oh, it has to be hardened. Oh, I did not know that. Um, and that is made in an induction smelter. With obsidian dust and lead ingot. So I'm going to need some obsidian. Oh, okay. Well, let's start with the induction smelter. I mean, while we're at it, we've got power now. We can start making some of these things. So I'm going to need another one of these machine frames, a bucket, uh, two invert ingots, two copper gears, and a redstone reception. Tool. So first one I want to look at is there's a gear modifier, this guy right here, um, that I can put on the press to do that. So we need an iron gear, two lead plates, a piston, and oh, tell me I have some redstone left. Nope. Let's go. Let's go venture a little bit. Um, and try to see if we can find some redstone. I know I'm not nearly as afraid to go out and kind of mess with mobs anymore. Um, just from bumping up my levels and stuff. I feel as though I can fight a little bit better. I mean, I'm still, you know, horrible at PvP, which we all know. We, I've been very, very clear about this. There's some redstone off in the distance over there. Um, there's so many materials, but not a lot of redstone around. Actually, what I could do is probably go grab my hammer and just start clearing out some areas. Maybe I'll get that hammer leveled up while we're at it. Because the only redstone I see is right there. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe I'll go and do a little bit of strip mining. And then we will be able to uh, get a little more redstone that way. Maybe we'll do a 3x3 three three strip mine in the nether. All right, Charlie, so I'm back. I've got a, <clears throat> a little bit of redstone, not as much as I would have liked to find, but I got a little bit. But I did find something kind of curious in the process, right? I was looking up uh, for the Dank Null or Dev Null. No, this is the Dank Null, the Dev Null, to see if we had one in here. And, uh, you know, so I don't have to do it with all this netherrack rock or whatever. And I found these guys, um, a Dank Null. Now, I looked it up and kind of saw what it was about. 
And basically, it's uh, the, the, the spiritual upgrade of the Dev Null. Uh, basically, you can hold on to all these items. And um, <clears throat> this one only has nine slots. It holds up to two stacks at each slot or whatever. Not a big deal. But it actually holds stuff, and then it kind of uh, nulls out the rest, which is really, really cool. Unfortunately, I need a lot more redstone for it. Uh, each one of these takes four redstone. <clears throat> And so I need like 20 redstone just to build this. So that's something to look forward to in the future. But for the time being, I just thought that was really, really kind of cool. I'll probably try to get that done in the meantime uh, or in between episodes because, well, why why not, right? Um, so we're going to continue doing what we're doing. And then hopefully I'll be able to come back and get that dev null done or dank null done um, in between episodes. I think that'd be kind of cool. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. We were going to make the induction smelter, right? Um, I used that one block. Did I ever pick up? I dropped it around here somewhere. Oh, no, they've all cleared out since. Um, okay, well, I'll have to make another piece of cobble. We'll just have a hole in the wall for a minute. I'm okay with that. It'll, it'll be all right. Not a big deal. So, uh, induction smelter. That's what we were looking. That's what we're going to go back to induction smelter okay so we needed two more for that um some iron some invar some copper that the rest of that's all super simple oh that's right we were making the gear that's what we were making um we were making the upgrade that's what we're going to try to make so iron gear, super simple, lead plate, super simple, piston, easy, and then that, that we can do. So let's, huh, guess I don't have a lot of iron over here. It's okay, we can go smelt some up really quick like. Uh, so you and you, give me that, right? And the piston, well, we need to go smelt up some iron. So in between episodes, I did start throwing a lot of my materials over here into the, um, the compactor. And so we've got a decent amount of stuff going on over here. And then I did kind of somewhat automate this. So basically now it just auto feeds in and then uh, auto casts out the, the ingots and stuff like that. So that is kind of useful. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of where we're at. Oh, I do have a gear. Let me, let me do that. I can cast out some iron gears this way, right? That's what I needed. I need an iron gear and two lead plates. So I'm gonna need to go smelt up a little bit of lead while that's doing its thing. Um, I'll probably get a couple gears, but I'll probably need a couple gears, so that's okay to let that happen right now. Uh, lead, let's just make up a couple ingots real quick over in this guy. And then I can grab my hammer from Immersive and make the plates real quick, like so. There we go. And actually I can make an ingot just using nuggets because I've got some iron nuggets from when I was out mining. There we go. And so then I should be able to make our piston. Oopsie. There we go. Should be able to make you. And then the only thing I'm missing is the iron gear. <coughs> awesome. And I should have one, at least one in there by now. Yep. And so, um, I guess I can put this on stop real quick so I can swap these back out and iron gear. Oh, I'll put two. There we go. Cool. And I guess I can put you back in there. All right. Cool. 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 I think we've got everything we need now for the gear upgrade. There we go. Now, if I go pop this, um, let me grab some copper because I need copper gears. Do I not have any copper? Interesting. Um, we'll probably need eight, I'm assuming. So we'll go ahead and make you up real quick and test this out to see if that works. Because if that does, that's a quick way to make some gears and that'll be awesome. Um, the induction smelter is right here. Gear, gear, gear. Uh, reception coil is the gold one and I need two redstone for that. Cool, got that. That's electrum, but that's gold. Make you real quick. Nope, not you. Make you real quick. Got you. 
got the copper. Let's go see if this gear augment works the way I think it does. <laughs> or I'm hoping so. This is a non-research one. This is me just hoping. Um, I can't put an augment on it. How? Hey, give me that back. How do I put an augment on it? Does this have to upgrade? Um... Augment, um, augment auxiliary resumption coil, augment sieve. How do I add augments to this? Um, upgrade. Is there an upgrade thing that you can actually put on these things? Do I need to, um, requires tier immediately proceeding. Okay. So how do I do this? This is Invar, a bronze gear, and some redstone. Well, I guess we can try. Got the bronze. I can turn that into a bronze gear. Well, is there a way to make a bronze gear other than in here? Casting it. Okay, so yeah, so this is it. How do I add that to here? Do I just right-click on it? Shift right-click? And not have blocks on my hand to make it do stupid things like that? <clears throat> No. So how do we get this to happen? This is, um, I, I'm only assuming it's just going to be the upgrade kit, which is going to allow me to do that. So, uh, bronze gear, we'll do it over here. You should be pretty close to done with your iron. The system's pretty quick. Oh, and I turned you off. So actually that's kind of good. So let's put bronze in here real quick. Um, There we go, and put the bronze in. I think there should be enough room left for the bronze. Oh, we're out of lava. We're out of lava. Let's go get some lava really quick. <coughs> um, I guess I can go down here to do it. I did run into a juggernaut, and it was so funny. Um, because of the torches, I haven't dealt with mobs in quite a while. And so it kind of caught me off guard, but I didn't really take too much. I mean, look at my armor is down to like one, like this thing's almost dead. Uh, durability has eight hits left on it, but the, the guy kind of crept up on me. And then I remembered when you, t uh, I got the comment from one of you guys about, uh, sneaking and that worked really well. Sneak next to the blazing juggernaut. And he doesn't seem to really notice you. Like he can still find you, but it, he doesn't like rush up on you. And then with my sprint speed, uh, being able to accelerate like I do, it's um it's quite nice <laughs> uh my sprint speed i can just run right away from them so it wasn't a huge huge issue but all right so hopefully the bronze goes on the bottom and the gear i can put in here <clears throat> like so put you there and we'll turn you back on like so and I guess, well, I'm going to have to do the same thing I did just a second ago because <clears throat> actually all I got to do is break you. There we go. That's all I have to break. And my inventory is so full. I hate when my inventory is this full. Okay. Take you out. Um, that is just going to stay connected for right now because it's going to bother me, but it's just going to have to gonna have to work that way <clears throat> and ingot cast put you back in there there you go put you back in there get my bronze gear got you okay and then it was invar i need um invar i believe i believe i actually have some nickel in here i do and iron i've got somewhere pulverized up maybe maybe not i don't know if i can put I don't know if I could put these into the kiln. It'd be an interesting test. Can I put you in there? Okay, there's you. Can I put the in nickel in? Can I just do it that way? No. Okay, so we'll go smelt you guys up and then we'll make the invar. And uh, hopefully we can upgrade, get that gear on there. I know it seems like I'm kind of going roundabout, but this is useful stuff. <clears throat> I mean, this is stuff that we need. 
and I need to figure out the most productive way to do it. Oh, I already have some iron on me, so I can make like, I will make 10 invar. And uh, I hope I can do invar in the kiln. I mean, that would make sense, right? Uh, nickel and iron? Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll get the invar. So I need four of those. I've got the bronze gear. I've got the two redstone. Hopefully that'll let me put the augment on here. I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic, um, but you never know. And one more. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. And we'll come run over here. I did move my table back so I don't keep going to the wrong spot. And bingo. Okay. So is this the one that I just right click on it? And then. Yes. And now I should have the. Ah, now I can have the augment. Cool. Now this can do gears. Awesome. Okay, cool. So. Back to making our induction smelter now. Um, so let me take off you guys. And I need copper gears. And I've got the eight copper ingots. So gear on it. Awesome. It works. Sweet. And it's four per. Okay, cool. So sometimes I'm doing right things. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes I do right things. All right. And I need another one of you and an iron block. I don't, can I craft an iron block or do I have to smelt it? It's been a while since I've tried. Can I craft one? Okay, cool. I can craft that. Go put that in the... Oh, what's this thing called over here? The resonator. Get the machine frame. I got the gold reception coil. Should have everything I need. I do. Induction smelter. Awesome. And then this is where we're going to do our obsidian and lead to get the hardened glass. Um, let's just put you here. I need a couple low voltage connectors to give you power. Like so. Low voltage. Where's low voltage? There we go. And one wire is all I need. <clears throat> and go away. All right. Psh, dodge you. All right, so low voltage connector, hey, like that. You and you, cool. And this guy can do obsidian, I believe. And I just happen to have that one block of obsidian up there from, I don't know how long ago. I told a mistake, I'm not, nope. Um, I don't have a, do I need to upgrade? What do I need to upgrade to do, obs can I just make a diamond pickaxe? I mean, can I just do that? <clears throat> I'm sure I can, right? I haven't made one, but yeah, three diamonds and two treated sticks. <clears throat> well, that's super simple. I can do the treated sticks like so. I've got plenty of diamonds and I know that's obsidian level. So let's grab that. Oop, you. Uh, one, two, three. Make the diamond pickaxe. All right, cool. And I got to look into the tinkers, what I got to do to upgrade my pick to get that. But at least is, why does it say, oh, wrong one. I know that there's a skill. I was looking at those earlier <clears throat> that tells me I can level up my ability to mine obsidian. But, you know, right now, no big deal. Um, and then pulverizer. I can put the obsidian in there and get that. Right. Right. And then lead. Um, lead I have over in that <coughs> furnace over here. There we go. I don't think it has to be pulverized lead. I think I can do regular lead with the pulverized obsidian. There we go. And this should make our hardened glass. Right? Yes. Okay. And... Wow, it's been so long with all the mining and stuff that I was doing. I actually don't quite remember what I needed the hardened glass for. Um, what exactly were we trying to make? Oh, the... Was it the Tinker's Tank? That's what it was. It was the Tinker's Tank. Huh. Been a while. No, it wasn't that. What was I trying to make? It was a, it was a quest. Oh, the seared glass. That's it. Um... Seared glass. There you go. Four bricks. That's only going to make one? Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. I need seven of those. Oh goodness. I can make two. I need five more. Which means I need more obsidian. <clears throat> Is there a way I can make obsidian? Um, obsidian. How can you be made? In a cauldron? A lava bucket with water? I can do that. And I get the bucket back. Ooh, and I just so happen to have that cauldron over here. Um, I have one bucket left. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take, but hey, it's it's worth the shot. Um, so I'm going to need... Well, I might need more lead. I didn't look at what I had left over. If I had the obsidian left over, if I had the lead left over. I don't remember. But let's grab some lava real quick. All right. And up here. Oh, shh, don't miss your jump. So we can throw this in the cauldron. Hey, something useful. I was like, I made that cauldron for basically no reason at first, but now I can actually use it to make obsidian, which is kind of cool. Now I believe, I don't know if I right click, I think I just drop it in. There you go. And then I don't know how long it takes. It doesn't really give like an animation or anything like that. But if I take this, I don't know if it's mixing or what it does. Hasn't pulled the obsidian out or the bucket out. So I don't know how long this takes. But I did read that direction right, right? Cauldron, a lava bucket, a water. It's already got plenty. I've got like four buckets in there. Is there another way to make obsidian that I don't know of? <clears throat> well, the igneous extruder. Yeah, we could always do that. Um, or blaze mesh around a pure daisy, which we're not there yet. So, Oh, do I right, shift right click? Retrieved lava bucket. Okay, so maybe it takes longer. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. It doesn't... Did it give a time... I guess I should look. I didn't see a time on there. Under here. Yeah, it doesn't really give a time. Uh, but it's got the fire. It's got the water. It's got the lava bucket. It should be doing its thing. And you can do it with lava in there and a water bucket. That's kind of funny. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. But I don't know how you know if it's done or not. <clears throat> I guess maybe if it uses a thousand water. So once this gets down to three buckets, that means it's done. I don't know. But there's really no better way to make obsidian right now. And I'm pretty sure it used all the obsidian and left lead. Yeah. So I need to get a little more lead. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pause right here while I'm getting all this obsidian made up and hopefully figure it out. And then uh, once I do get it all figured out or all made up and stuff like that, then we will come back and uh, continue on with the rest of it. So we'll be right back. So in the process, I just want to show you guys, as I shift right click, then it does actually say obsidian in bucket. Then I shift right click and I retrieve those. And now I have my obsidian in my bucket. So I'm going to continue to get this done. And then once we're ready to make the uh, seared get glass, then we'll take care of that. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm just waiting on the last piece of uh, obsidian to pulverize. And then we'll go throw it in the induction smelter. And we'll be able to make that uh, seared glass. And we'll get that achievement done. <sighs> okay. So that takes a little bit of time. It's about a minute or two per piece of obsidian. So I definitely want to look into uh, possibly making um, uh, some auto lava, lava lava generation with like a crucible and possibly get going on that. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see. But let's come over here and get this last guy done, which is the Tinker. No, it wasn't that. It was seared glass. Seared glass right there. We'll get seven of those made up, like so. And that objective is complete. Okay, so we've got the tinkers, all that's done, bingo. Now, the fueled up, I'm kind of curious about. Um, a fuel input machine <clears throat> and solid fuel. And I know this is actually something that can help up out your uh, smeltery. Like, I think you can make it um, run on, yeah, there it goes. You make your smeltery run on solid fuels and fuel input, so I don't need lava, per se. Um, let's check this guy out real quick. Fuel input input machine. All right. 
So that is a hopper with some seared stone. <clears throat> um, I believe you can make seared. It doesn't have to come from grout, does it? Does it have to come from grout? Can I sear up? Or does it have to be seared brick? Thought I could do stone, but maybe it has to be seared brick. Um, well, I've got plenty to do that. I need eight, and then I can make the hopper. So let's go ahead and throw uh, eight times. <clears throat> so I need 40. So we'll throw those in there, and we will go ahead and switch this over for right now. There we go. And then you'll just pump into this, right? That's what we're trying to do here. I guess I could have done this with uh, just the faucet, but, you know, it's okay. Maybe I'll make another one of these. Who knows? But you're going to get going. You're going to make up seared brick pretty quickly, I would say. Let's go hang the ladle back up over here. Um, I don't need this diamond pickaxe. So I can put you away. Did I already have one? I'm kind of curious if I had already made one. I had not. So that's good that I'm not remaking items. That's cool. Um, and some potions. You guys can go in here. I don't really need the seared stuff, so we'll put you in there. Um, yeah, everything else, pretty good. All right, cool. Uh, let's make our hopper. Did I, did I put any of the iron back in here, or did it sit all over there? Let me grab a chest. I think I've got one left in here. I do. And let's go grab some iron. <clears throat> one two three four five make up the hopper like so how did you do that i don't know there we go and start putting these in here like this so if i can start putting solid fuels like swap this block out for solid fuels that's actually really kind of cool because <coughs> i can get tons of coal but it is a bit of a hassle constantly going to get lava. And so it would be a nice change to actually run your smeltery on uh, like a solid material. And I'm hoping that that's what that's basically saying. If I pop out a block and kind of swap it over, that's what it's going to do. Three more. Let's go. And uh, while we're waiting on those, there's a couple other ones that I want to take a look at that we might be able to get done today. Um, since we're right at the time, it's the smart casting. Okay, so smart output. Um, this thing looks really cool. Uh, that is four seared stone and ice. How am I supposed to get ice? Um, well, I guess we can make the fluid transposer, or no, like the glacial precipitator. That's it. Add water and get some ice. Is there another recipe for ice? Nope, that seems to be about it. Or cryothium <laughs> dust, which that doesn't seem like. So what's the recipe for the glacial precipitator? That is a machine frame, a piston, two invar, four copper, and redstone. That's actually pretty simple. We might do that um, and get that guy done today, which needs I'm going to need uh, some more grout. But hey, we got this guy. Okay, so let's check this guy out real quick. Nothing should be in here, right? Why do I have Why do I have more going in? I don't know. Um, so we're going to pop you out. And we're going to put you in there. And then all I got to do is put coal in there. Ooh, what's this? Temperature 1000, ratio 1. Lack of solid fuel. Okay. So <clears throat> if I put coal in there like that, that's going to give me a solid fuel, obviously cool and it no longer says lack and then what's this right here at what's the mod this comes from this comes from tinker io <clears throat> tinker io that's you so it's going to be these right here slot upgrade <clears throat> um for smart output increases one slot for smart output two for smart okay this is not the smart output i want um it's, there's got to be more to that, right? Because this is, this is the input, <laughs> not the output. Um, Lonesome Adventure YouTube Audio Library, that's funny. Uh, smart output, smart output, smart output, smart output, smart uh, output. Oh, solid fuel. That's gunpowder, 
aluminum and coal. Well, let's let's try that real quick and just see what kind of rate we get on that because I've got gunpowder. I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I do. I've got the coal and I've got aluminum. <clears throat> Maybe not smelted up yet, but we can always do that really quickly. Let's see what the smart fuel gives us. If it's just a better burn or what it does. <clears throat> All right, three should be enough for right now. Except apparently I only have two. Okay, so it was uh, you, you, and you. Gives us smart fuel. So that's 16 of them. Oh, yeah, and I guess that was achievement, so good. I wanted to do that anyways. And what, so it says ratio one. Now what does it say? Um, what is this upgrade right here? Iron Toolkit grants extra modifier. I'm very curious as to what that is for. Sterling Engine, what is that? Block of gold, quartz, seared stone. There's some useful stuff I got to take a look at here. <clears throat> I, uh... No. What's the name of the mod? The mod is Tinker's I.O., right? I don't have to do... Oh, is it Tinkers? I.O.? Tinkers. I.O. Why is it not coming up the right way? Is it, oh, that's where this stuff's called. That's Tinkers Compliment. Um, grants an extra modifier. Auto repair modifier. I mean, some of this stuff looks cool and interesting. I'm just trying to figure out... What the little mod? Oh, these are modifiers here. Nope, those are plates. I'm gonna find this before we're done. This is very curious to me that there's obviously a slot for a modifier right here, but it won't let me modify. So I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a little quicker. Um, let's see. Let's see if it does it quicker with the fuel versus. I mean, the lava's still there, but let's grab like a stack of iron here and. Let's fix all this up real quick. Bucket go away, ingot come back here, right there. Take you off, good. And where'd you go, there you are. And you, there and there and on, good. Now let's put some smart fuel in. Okay, you're in there and iron, go. Oh, that is so much faster, okay, okay. That's a good thing. Temperature is 18,500 versus 1,000, I think, is what I got from the coal. Obviously, that goes a lot faster. So let's go ahead and just start smelting you guys up like crazy. And <clears throat> now we've got a much more productive um, thing. We, we got a couple minutes. I do want to get the glacial precipitator and see if I can get that smart output on there, too. So with the glacial precipitator... That was uh, two copper gears, which we can make now. Two invar, which I think we have a machine frame. So do I have iron on me? No, but we can go grab some as I'm making it quite quickly now. Um, nine of you. All right. There we go. And did I put invar in here or is there invar over here? Oh, no, you're in here. That's where the invar is. Um, did I take it all? Let me grab some more iron to mix with that nickel. There we go. I just put a whole stack in there. Whatever. For right now, I'm just kind of throwing stuff in. Um, there. So we'll get two of the Invar ingots. <clears throat> copper. I think I can just make some copper really quick. Um, do I have any? Nope, but I can make some up really fast. And throw it in our new fancy dancing machine. Like that, there you go. Copper, cool. And start smelting you up. Actually, I kinda wanna do this. Um, oh, you're full. And you can't get out fast enough. <laughs> Maybe I'll start pumping them into blocks, I don't know. I think the smart output should probably help with that. Um, it's automated smelter, so you're going to need a smart output, yeah. So it's basically what we've been trying to do, but a much faster way to do it. So, all right, let's go ahead and clear all you guys out so the copper goes in. 
no, copper go in. There we go. And let's start pumping you out. Hopefully. Come on. Let's go make the machine frame while we're waiting. And uh, huh, there we go. Uh, what else was I going to need? I'm going to need a reception coil, which means I need two more redstone. I should have. No, I'm not out of redstone again, am I? Did I use all my redstone? No. I need redstone. Oh my goodness, how much are in those pipes? <laughs> You're still doing iron. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to go find some redstone, and we're going to get this thing finished up today. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I've got my redstone. Now I'm just waiting on my copper gears to finish up. There was a ton of iron in these pipes. I don't know how much they hold, but I swear it was pumping iron forever. Um, <clears throat> I should have gotten two more copper. Where's the rest of my copper at? Come on. Why did you switch? No, don't do that to me again. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I can get to the first gear done. Um, is there another recipe for gears? Um, copper gear. Um, yeah, I can do it in this. I can smelt it. <clears throat> smelt it. And now I gotta wait for all that iron again. I am not waiting again for all that iron. No, we're just going to waste a little bit because this is just a bit much at this point. And copper is selected, right, before I do this? Okay, copper is selected. And let's put you there. And where's my... F you and you. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. All right. And you go. All right. Give me some more copper. I only need two more right now. Just need two. I don't know why it stopped at six. It's really weird. Unless it just cleared this out before more went. I don't know. I don't really know. Sometimes I just don't Minecraft very well. I'm okay to admit it. And let's get our second gear there. All right, cool. And then Invar, got you. Now we just need to go make a piston and the reception coil, which I now have the redstone for. And gold, like that. And iron I have on me. I do have an iron. I've got a redstone. Let me just go grab the wood. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And glacial precipitator. <clears throat> All right, so you, I need you. And you, I need you. And now you, oh, there we go. And I don't think this thing needs power, does it? This one I can just like set right here, right? Oh, it does take power, okay. Um, and then, do I have a bucket on me? I do have a bucket on me. Okay, um, hey, don't waste my water. No, I don't want snowballs, I want ice. Make me some ice. Did you already pump something into here? You pumped eight snowballs into there. Oh my goodness, okay. And you don't have a full bucket of water. It's time to go make water. Ay ya ya. Okay, so it was four of those and four seared brick. <clears throat> so we'll make up the grout real quick so we can make those seared bricks. And then we will have our smart output. And uh, I will feel so much better about things. Uh, I will feel so much better. Um, we don't have, I've got three seared brick. I only need one more. Um, can I smelt you back up? Does that work? Can I smelt you back up? I can. Well, that might work. That may just very well work. All right, cool. So we'll put you on here. Once you're done smelting up, how long? Oh, you're already out of your solid fuel. Okay, let's add that. Does that speed things up a little bit? That stuff goes through it quickly, apparently. But, uh... I guess I can make more. I don't, I don't know if I used, I used all my gunpowder, didn't I? I did. I did use all my gunpowder. Um, so let me switch to you real quick and do this. Good. 
and then you should be back at iron for that. Good. All right, cool. And water should be just about done. <clears throat> All right. So I need you to make ice, not... Okay, cool. You made ice that time. Good, good, good. And you and you. And we'll get you in here. Thank you, thank you. There's two ice, two more coming. How long does this thing take? Do you take a while? Not too, I mean, all the water's caught. Okay, you should be done, yeah. Red zone control's off, yeah. Where's the other ice? Oh, I guess I grabbed it and didn't notice it. Okay. So we'll come over here, and it's for you and for you. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Smart output. Okay. <coughs> so if I'm figuring all this out correctly, I should be able to take you guys off. Let's just get some of the stuff out of the way. Like there. So I don't need the drain anymore, right? Or do I need the drain? Does this work as a drain? Um, or does the drain go, does it, does it go into this? Is that what it does? Well, let's try that. So, is that what happens here? Do I put you here and then put the drain right there and then have you do this and servo like that? Okay, it can't do the basin, so apparently that's an upgrade. But So, do I put the ingot cast in here like that and then you do your thing? If I do that, is that what happens? Oh, I see iron going in. Okay, so the ingots go there. And then, um, Tinkers, oh, at Tinkers, at Tinkers IO. Why does it do that? Okay. Um, It was these things, right? So, uh, smart output, increase one slot for smart output, two slots for smart output. Okay, that's something to look into next time, but it looks like those upgrades go here. And are you still, do you not have any more iron in there? Okay, maybe I, I wasted all that iron. That could be a possibility. Oh, okay. Um, so it doesn't keep going. I see something about a redstone signal. Let's see. Does that just keep it going? Is that what happens there? I see something right here and I see a redstone torch. I don't know. That'll be something to look to in the meantime, but I think today was pretty productive. We got some things done and it's a lot of new stuff and see, oh, maybe I should look at the smart upgrades. Speed upgrade. <sighs> These upgrades will improve the smart output. Redstone upgrade. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I do make the mistake of not realizing this is a progression thing and I should probably look at the progression and see, you know, where we're headed. Oh, thanks for the cobblestone and a modular cart and rail. Cool. So this is coming along. Um, the smart fuel, I'll have to make more of once we start getting some more coal and stuff and gunpowder and all that fun stuff. I don't think, I don't get creepers down here, so I don't have any gunpowder over there. But this thing is totally full. I'm going to have to get that cleaned out. Um, so yeah. I, like I said, I don't like messing with Tinkers, but this is a lot of new stuff that I don't know anything about when it comes to Tinkers. So this is really cool. I'm, uh, I'm kind of digging on this stuff because there's more we can kind of get into with these smart outputs and a power, power from heat. Uh, with Sterling Engine, you can generate RF from the heat of the fluids in Sear. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> oh, that'd be something to look into. But we're already really long. I'm like 46 minutes in right now. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.